What's up boys today we're acting for AIs and what they can do. Are you guys ready? Let's see. Glock, glock. And capacity of artificial intelligence systems seems to be exponential. With the release of ChatGPT, suddenly, everything from education to copy editors was disrupted. Then came Microsoft's announcement. The technology would be integrated Microsoft. into their search engine. Okay. For those following along, these events sparked a battle in the tech industry so entertaining that the only thing that one could They're do was sit back and enjoy with some popcorn. <laughs> Google and Microsoft would go head to head in what's being dubbed the artificial intelligence wars. In the latest developments, OpenAI reveals their next generation of their language model, GPT-4. It's smarter than ever before, can recognize images, and has left users dumbfounded. Once again, the internet was set alight with incredible use cases. Many were left wondering what industries are going to remain untouched at this rate. But within a matter of days, the floodgates were blown right open. Google's Bard AI finally drops to consumers. ChatGPT starts taking plugin extensions for third-party software, oh and this God. includes access to the internet. Any Microsoft ass. Bing Holy receives fuck. AI generation image support. Microsoft's Office Suite receives AI capabilities as well. And everyone from Adobe to Nvidia made their AI announcements. Shit. But then a bombshell drops. Microsoft researchers admit that GPT-4 is showing, Spark quote, sparks of artificial general intelligence, Shit. or AGI. A feat that wasn't supposed to happen for the next 20 years. Also in this episode, we'll feast our eyes on some of the latest images coming from AI. So definitely be sure to stick around for that. Holy They're fuck, amazing. those pictures are just from just AI, display, they're not real. The rapid speed of AI progress demonstrated in the rest of this episode, some viewers may find it concerning. But my aim here isn't to scare anyone, but to give you the courtesy of showing you what's around the corner. There's even three prompting tips in here to help you get ahead. And no that, way. Hold on to your seatbelts because Holy it's going to be a fuck. wild ride. Okay, let's see. You are watching Cold Fusion TV. We're starting to get the first studies done on this new early stage of generative AI. An MIT paper found that professionals using systems like ChatGPT are now able to complete tasks in half the time while increasing the quality of the output by more than 20%. Okay. This was expected. In the Cold Fusion episode covering ChatGPT's launch, I mentioned that this would be the equivalent of having an expert assistant in any field with you at all times. Holy fuck! We all know it's not perfect, but it's still helping people even in its current form. New applications of the technology were being discovered every day, and that's the fascinating thing. Even its creators had no idea what it could do, or even the precise means of how it does it. So what happens when the world hasn't even digested the implications of ChatGPT, and yet a new and improved version is unleashed? Okay. Just recently, OpenAI once again expanded the capabilities of its now famous text generation AI. In the latest version, GPT 4.0, not only has the size of both its input and output been expanded from 3,000 words to 25,000 words, but the model has now become multimodal. What? In other words, it, it can use all its text, text and images. images now Holy too. fuck. It's very interesting and particularly intriguing because above just understanding the image, it can also interpret <laughs> and explain what's depicted within the image. Shit. For example, GPT-4 can now look at the groceries in your and fridge you and even exactly. generate a list of dishes that can be made with them. No way! You can make a dishes with them. It can understand and solve an image-based problem and it can identify humor in multiple photos, <laughs> even explaining why it's funny. Shit. And another mind-blowing example is creating a website from scratch while only being shown a shoddy drawing on a piece of paper. No way. It's also smarter in logic. Here's an example of GPT-3 versus GPT-4 on the same logic problem. User. In a room, yeah. there are 100 murderers. You kill one of them. How many murderers are left? Chat GPT. If there were originally 100 murderers in the room and you kill one of them, there would still be 99 murderers left in the room. Now the same problem yeah, with GPT-4. User, there are 500 murderers in a room. You enter and kill one of them. How many are there now? GPT-4. This seems to be a riddle. Assuming the murders are people who have committed murder and you kill one of them, there would still be 500 people who have committed murder in the room, including yourself, as you would now also be considered a murderer. <laughs> on first glance, I can even see That's a lot of humans tripping up on this one. 
so I find this particularly impressive. On top of all of that, its deep learning sure. capabilities have also received a boost. It's improved its overall reasoning abilities. As a result, its performance across multiple reasoning benchmarks have increased significantly, reaching a human-like level of common sense. Okay. This also applies to standard tests. For example, on the bar exam, the GPT series went from the bottom 10% to the top 10% performance level. And that is just remarkable. What? Its reasoning capabilities surprised even the open AI team. During tests, they discovered that it was able to solve hindsight neglect, a decision-making problem where it had struggled greatly in the past. In this figure, you can see GPT 3.5 scored almost zero, and GPT 4, a perfect score of 100. Wow. Improved reasoning also boosted a source plot Shit. for previous models, the factualness of the model. In everything. According to the company, GPT-4 is 40% more likely than its predecessor to produce a factual response and 82% less likely to respond with, quote, disallowed content. Yet, of course, despite these improvements, the research notes that this model is still biased and can output some questionable information. Now, the interesting thing is, if you're curious about how the team at OpenAI achieved these results, there's little to no information on the subject. That was on purpose. In their release paper, the creators state that this is mainly due to two reasons, competition and security. It seems that Microsoft is putting a lot of pressure on the back end of this technology to remain undisclosed. This is a huge departure from OpenAI's original ethos and basically the opposite of the norm for the current AI industry up until this point. It seems now like Microsoft is in full battle mode and the AI wars Holy seem to be in full fuck. swing. There may be some potential risks ahead. Who do you guys think is going to win? That later. Okay. About one week after GPT-4's public release, a team of Microsoft scientists published and released a paper highlighting uh, that the AI system is showing, quote, sparks of human-level intelligence, yeah. or AGI. Here are some quotes from the paper. Quote, we demonstrate that, beyond its mastery of language, GPT-4 can solve novel and difficult tasks oh, that span shit. mathematics, coding, vision, vision medicine, medicine oh. law, psychology, and more, without needing any special prompting. Fuck, Moreover, do this on in their all own. of these tasks, GPT-4's performance is strikingly close to human-level performance, and often vastly surpasses prior models, such as ChatGPT. Wow. We believe that GPT-4's intelligence signals a true paradigm shift in the field of computer so science Chad, and beyond. Just the beginning. Given the breadth and depth of GPT-4's capabilities, we believe that it could easily be viewed as an early yet still incomplete version of an artificial general intelligence system. Wow. So it's not full AGI just yet, but it looks like we'll be here soon enough if progress continues at the same rate. So in all of this, you might be confused. You might be thinking, I've used ChatGPT or GPT-4, but it doesn't seem that great. Well, it turns out that many people are using it wrong. Of course, there's plenty of prompt engineers out there to give you tips but here are some of the best ones that I've heard. The trick is to make it do and not think. Okay, a good template too. to follow is as such. Give a specific objective for the output. A vague input will give you a vague answer. Give a specific format for the answer. And lastly, give a specific list of things that it should avoid. And it all makes sense. You can't give a worker vague instructions uh -huh. and expect an amazing result versus being specific in what you want. And here it's the same thing. Here are some examples of some people who have figured it out and got GPT-4 to do some amazing things. New applications of GPT-4. In just over a week since its release, people around the world have started to discover the whole world of new possibilities that this new AI model has to offer. Due to its boost in deep learning, it got significantly better at coding. Okay. One user was able to create five microservices for a new product wow. in less than three hours with the help of the new ChatGPT. Okay. For context, the same service usually takes a human developer around two weeks and it would cost in the range of $5,000. Holy fuck. Another user was able to create a Google Chrome extension in a matter of minutes from the ground up. What about an iPhone app built from scratch using just GPT-4 and it's already on the App Store? Wait. Its capabilities to create video games 
has also improved dramatically as well. It can now create games all the way from classics like Snake and Tetris to more advanced 3D prototypes like the original Doom. No way, what? With its extended input and output, it can now process a lot more information. It was able to find multiple vulnerabilities on a live Ethereum contract. The extended output also facilitates creating deeper content. What? For example, the CEO of LinkedIn was able to come up with the first AI created book. Staying on the creative Shit. side, by combining GPT-4 with other AI tools such as Midjourney, Runway Gen 1, and Boomi AI, one user was even able to make a movie. Mm. And here's another a example movie. of a short clip completely made by AI. Yo, that's insane, fam. Holy fuck! GPT-4 is also able to help with taxes. Or how about drug discovery? Why? By giving it a current drug, it can find compounds with similar properties, modify them, and make sure that they're not patented. And it can even help you purchase these compounds from a supplier. Well, that's gonna be all. Like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Clock, clock.